listed as one of the top places to visit. The small fishing village of Corintown, Puswanga, makes a great destination on any trip to the Philippines. My first stop is a climb to the top of Mount Tapias to catch the sunrise before starting my day. With 721 steps to climb, I recommend enjoying a snack at the top while checking out the sweeping views of the Corin Islands. One of the reasons we came to Corin Town was for the amazing snorkeling. There are many boats lined along the water, so finding someone to take you island hopping is not very difficult at all. Our first stop is Kayangan Lake, said to be the cleanest lake in the Philippines. It's no wonder this is a popular snorkeling destination. The water is crystal clear, and underneath are all sorts of rock formations and caves. The lake is made up of 70% fresh water and 30% salt, making it ideal for swimming. To get here, you'll take a 10-15 to 15 minute uphill climb, but it's all worth it, even if you're not a swimmer. With the clarity of the water, you can see all the amazing rock formations even from above the water. And if you're lucky like I was, you may even spot a gigantic iguana sunbathing on the rocks. Next stop is Barracuda Lake, known as Luluan Lake by the locals. This freshwater lake is in the crater of a former volcano and is surrounded by sharp, jagged limestone cliffs, making it a very picturesque place to visit. Despite its name, it's highly unlikely to see any barracuda or any other fish for that matter, swimming around in this water. This lake is known for its rare thermocline. The surface temperature stays around 82 degrees Fahrenheit, but as divers descend about 45 to 50 feet, the temperature will drastically change to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is because the lake contains both fresh and salt water. Fresh water at the top, with a clearer distinction of salt water below. Every step we make is absolutely breathtaking. Islands of limestone rock come out of the water just as they do in Halong Bay in Vietnam. Only these ones are in more shallow water close to the shore.
Our third snorkeling spot is Twin Lagoons. This is a popular destination on Corin Island. And it's not difficult to see why. A narrow cliff separates the two lagoons from one another. At high tide, you can take the wooden steps up and over from one lagoon to the other, or simply swim under them if the tide is low enough. Unlike the other snorkeling spots, this one is made up of salt water, so the view underneath is much different. Here you see an array of colorful corals, sea urchins, and a variety of fish. These crystal clear lagoons are a must-see for anyone traveling to the Palawan region of the Philippines. My pictures and videos don't even come close to doing this area any justice. This is a place that has to be explored in person. After a full day of snorkeling around Corin Island, it's time to head back to town. The actual name of Corin Town is Buswanga, but since the area is mostly known for its amazing snorkeling, Buswanga is now referred to as Corin Town. As with all my travels, no matter what kind of fun adventures and excursions I do, what I love the absolute most are the locals especially the children. They say money can't buy happiness, and although I don't agree with that 100%, I do agree when it comes to children. No matter where I travel and how bad the poverty level is, I always notice the same thing. The kids are outside playing, they're with their friends, and they truly seem to be having a great time. It reminds me of the fun times I had as a kid exploring in the streets of San Francisco. Even though my childhood was less than ideal, I made up for it by filling each day with different adventures. People ask why I enjoy going to poverty-stricken countries, and my response is always the same. I love seeing the beautiful, happy children, and I love how their faces light up when I bring them something. It's just a reminder to never take things for granted and to continue seeing the world and its people through my heart. The same thing I try to teach in my memoir, Wildflower, A Tale of Transcendence. So next time you're looking for a great country to visit, I highly recommend the Philippines and all its beautiful islands and people. Check out my other videos to see more places in the Philippines and be sure to subscribe to my channel. My memoir, Wildflower, can be found on Amazon, or you can request it at your favorite local bookstore. Ciao for now!